So I'm grateful to have many things in my life and it doesn't necessarily need to be materialistic. It can be for the love of my family, for, for my friends. I have awesome friends. I'm very grateful for them. I love them dearly. I'm grateful for the um, emotional support and encouragement that I get from my family and from my friends. I'm grateful for so much. And it's about tapping into those feelings and, um, and having that take you through your day instead of dwelling on, ah, oh, I'm so stupid, I feel my bills. <laughs> it makes your day a lot more pleasant, trust me. <laughs> okay. Are there any other messages that you would like to get through to people today? Are there any other messages you would like to get through to people today? Ooh, Gaia. This is Earth Connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth. Stay grounded. Be mindful of the planet. That's, that's a beautiful message. Think about the world we live in. Be thankful for the sunshine. Be thankful for the rain when you can. Um, there are areas of drought that need rain for crops and flowers. Be thankful for that rain because otherwise that corn won't grow. Or the wheat. Or the soy. sustenance, right? So take good care of this. We need to take good care of this planet. It, it provides beautifully for us, so we need to nourish it and take care of it. And be thankful for the gift that the, um, the earth has given us, really, quite honestly. I don't know how many people are, you know, think about that and it's not just about trying to um, talk about something like environmentalism with global warming it's not even just that it's um, you know, recycling plastic bags those plastic bags if you don't deal with them properly end up in the ocean all those plastics if you don't recycle them properly, end up in the belly of a fish. Could kill a fish. Could kill a bird. Um, I mean, you wouldn't want to eat a fish that ingested a bunch of plastic, would you? That wouldn't be very healthy. So think about the planet. Think about planet Earth. Think about grounding. Staying centered. One of the best things to do, well, I wouldn't do it for very long, and it depends on where you live. If you go outside and you stand in the grass for a moment, it will help to keep you centered and grounded. I wouldn't do it for an extended period of time, but for a, a short amount of time, it, it's fine as long as mosquitoes are not here. They'll get eaten the water. <laughs> put on your sunscreen and put on your bug spray, and then you go stand in. in. <laughs> on the grass so you can keep yourself safe. Um, connect with the earth and imagine that you have, you're like a tree and you've got roots growing into the earth and you're connecting with uh, Mother Earth, Mother Nature. How about one more? Is there uh, another message that you would like to get across to anyone? Call to action. Take charge. Lead by example. Walk your talk. 
if you're going to do the walk, then you're going to do the talk. You got to be doing whatever, you know, the right thing. So if you're saying, for example, if you're talking about recycling, like you're a teacher or something, make sure you're actually recycling. I know the thing where I was living before, you had to actually take um, your recycling to um, a place for it to actually be recycled. And then I found out they weren't actually recycling what I was taking to them properly. And that was really, really, really frustrating because I took all of this time to organize the recycling. Here, okay, we're back on that again. I'm feeling like it's an important message for people. Recycle. It is important. It really is. Call to action. Take charge. Walk your talk. Whatever you're saying, you should be doing it. Whatever advice you've been giving people, you should take your own advice. Right? Ooh. One more. They're telling me. One more. So you're getting one more from the uh, keepers of the light. One more. What message do you want to get across to keep us away? Or any other messages? The Divine Director, Intervention and Purpose. Divine Intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided and happiness is your purpose. That's cool. You know what's kind of interesting about this card as I look at it? He, he's wearing, see, here, the two, uh, well, they look like triangles, trinity symbols. So for someone, there may be an actual intervention to get you out of a bad situation. You have a circle of friends that care about you and they want to get you out of of a bad situation. So listen to them when they speak to you. But that means not being closed off. That means really listening to your friends and really listening to your inner self and know that you are being guided to be in the right place at the right time and then everything's going to be okay. And listen to your gut and if you don't feel safe, go somewhere where you do feel safe. Go to a public place, go to a coffee shop, get 
just hang out with you. Call a friend that you feel safe with and have a chat. I'll tell them what's really happening. And don't be scared. It's understandable. I know in some of the situations I was in, I was scared. Very scared. But, you know, I, th I think a lot of these readings are kind of tying together and, uh, well, gather your, your inner strength, your, take your power back, and do what's right for you. And that's important. That's not selfish to take care of yourself. It's not selfish to ensure your own safety. That's important. Okay. I hope this helps people uh, have a safe and happy Halloween and uh, we'll do some more of these readings again soon. Bye.